injuries. There is new life this afternoon at an east side mall. Washington Square Mall has filled its last empty anchor space. Eyewitness News reporter Matt McCutcheon is live inside. He has the story behind the new international marketplace. Good afternoon, Chris. Washington Square Mall here on the city's east side has struggled over recent years with a high number of vacancies. And right here, you see empty space here inside this old LS Ayers department store that closed out a number of years ago as the agency folded up. But now there is new life, and you can see the beginning of it right behind us with this uh, bounce house, for example. One of many things here inside this new store. Joining us now is the founder of the International Marketplace that is setting up shop here inside Washington Square. Mall. Good afternoon to you. You're one week in and you've already got a number of businesses. What is the International Marketplace? International Plaza Marketplace is a business where we invite the community vendors to come in here, set their booths up and sell their merchandise. And you have about half a dozen so far. How many are you expecting? Uh, we're expecting we have a capacity up to 450 vendors on the first floor and 450 on the second floor. And uh, so now we have even more vendors coming in already setting up in September. And lastly, the purpose behind all of this and the profits that will be generated from this all go to a unique cause. Yes, we actually, I'm actually a pastor and we're uh, from Frankfurt, Indiana. And all of this started because we wanted uh, to get some funds to build a church. Thank you very much. Good luck to you. you. So as you can see, there's some empty space here right now inside, but there's already a number of stores setting up in shop here. We'll give you a tour of that and the rest of the Washington Square Mall and how it is fighting back and landing stores without the national exposure. That's coming up tonight at 5. For now, reporting live, Matt McCutcheon, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. All right, we look forward to that report, Matt. Thank you so much.